Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's last-minute power play ahead of King Charles' coronation. After months of will it, won't it, it was finally announced with great fanfare that Harry would attend the royal coronation. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't any of our upcoming videos. Now Duchess Meghan, that was something else. While she sat idly by waiting for an apology from the royal family for making her globally relevant and famous, she declined the invitation to the decade event because she wanted to stay home for her four-year-old's birthday party. Truthfully, can anyone remember their fourth birthday? After a series of PR stakes backfired, with secret letters sent to King Charles explaining why she's a monster on TV to Oprah, and then explaining the meaning behind it, this was the bomb of the week. It followed with Meghan gushing about her boyfriend in a social media post. Then, if that wasn't enough, she accidentally went to a Lakers game and ignored the advances that her husband, Prince Harry, was rehearsed for the world to see on Kissing Cam. Well, that all failed, so what? This. You see Meghan uses a few down-to-earth people with her detail worlds her best friend is a guy who also misled the world about not working on a resume you know the guy who regularly pops up TV spewing nonsense like how hard he works Meghan, and Harry in their charitable work. He's back in time to launch this new PR rocket, and he hopes people will remember the nature of their philanthropy. Sadly for them, the little-watched UK show this morning, already embroiled in their own crisis with feuding presenters and court cases, chose not the best choice for daytime TV you can imagine. Harry and Meghan weren't sure they were going to be welcomed, he rushed to the camera, which nearly brought a glassy eye to tears. Really, you would think, after the documents, Spear and Harry Book demand that the royals pay homage to Meghan, and at the same time bow down to Harry. Again, you see, Meghan and Harry want to focus public opinion on this. I can in fact reveal that they were cordially invited back late last year, with a direct offer from the King, to spend the festive season with them and the family. The truth is they had no idea at the time how to contact Harry as his phone is constantly changing due to security so again not the truth but the truth about Meghan and Harry. One thing I can convey is that, straight from the palace entourage, they have no idea what plane Harry agreed to fly on, or what day and time he'll arrive, which once again makes it all about them. One very good source tells me of this, until we see him at the castle gates being led away by the Met Police here in England, we will not believe he is coming and that is the King's tragic sentiment. He wants him there and hopes he turns up, but with Meghan and Harry backing their own PR, who knows. They know he could get more publicity if he fails to show up, and then it's all about them again. I might also add the sentiment from the new squad that propels Meghan into the spotlight, yet again, it will be a shot of her husband Harry at the coronation ceremony with her children both adoringly mourning the loss of their father, while standing alone in London, per a newly launched Instagram account. To finish off the PR plug, I was told the text would be something along the lines of her being very proud of her husband and kids, ensuring that the spotlight, at least a sprinkle, is a bit in her direction. Do you dare? The palace seems to think so. We'll wait for the next grumbling. Thanks for watching till the end.